Yellow. Hey, hey. All right, so we are on the road right now, on our way to our proof of time half marathon tomorrow. What? What is hopefully our proof of time half marathon tomorrow? TBD. Uh, we're going to the Buffalo Stampede half marathon. We'll tell you all about it later to us, but next to you. Seven minutes to start. Thank you. Thank you. Halfway to our turnaround point. That means we're a quarter of the way done. <laughs> Very uphill in this direction. We have the sun in our face, but on the way back, it'll be to our back, so. And we'll be going downhill apparently for six months. We're pretty excited. Halfway there. It was uphill. The whole way. The whole way to the halfway point. So we're looking forward to having sun in our back and running. Go! You too, go! Way to go. There you go. Hello. Hi, we are three hours post half marathon. We did, uh, we, we came down to Bryan, Texas, and we ran in the Buffalo Stampede half marathon this morning. Uh, we were out here with uh, two main goals today. First, we were hoping to complete a 15 mile training run. So our plan was to run another couple miles after the half marathon. Right. And our other hope was to be able to get a better proof of time for corral placement for the Walt Disney World Marathon coming up in January. The deadline to submit times is like Tuesday. So we were
we're hoping to do a little better than what we did uh, at our last time marathon. So, how'd we do? We didn't do either. We did neither of those things. So, let's start with uh, the 15 mile training run and why that didn't happen. So, I knew because I'm a dork and I do a bunch of research ahead of time for things, I had spent a lot of time studying the course map. Um, I knew that really the only chance we would have to survive this course in this time of the year in Texas would be if we had some cloud cover. This was a long out and back um, and from the stat satellite view of maps it looked like there was absolutely no shade. And there was absolutely There was no absolutely no shade, no shade for 13 miles yeah. and we got full sun the whole time. Yeah. The whole time. Oh and and it was uphill for it the first half. Uphill, and it was uphill right into the sun. Yeah, and then somehow on the way back, it was still uphill. I, that really kills me when that happens. You're like, oh man, these hills are gonna feel so great coming back together. You can't feel it at all, it's like running flat. Anyway, so uh, not our best run. No. I mean, we're still, I think, tremendously proud that we did it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And you know what, it was great because it was only five minutes slower than, yeah. our, than our best yeah. half, so. Yeah, so not bad, not bad. But, oh um, my gosh, the heat. It was, <laughs> it was, it was pretty awful out there. Um, it was, it was awful. It was oppressively hot. Um, it warmed up to I think 85 by the time we finished running. Finally, God save us, we finished running at some point. Yeah. Um, so it was uh, very challenging, very challenging. We're still not feeling totally normal. Again, it's three hours later, we got to go back to our hotel, take a shower. We've been sitting in, you know, 65 degree car <laughs> for, for a little while. Um, we're gonna go and uh, meet with my folks who were our dog sitter for last night and uh, go eat some pizza, which should make us feel better. Um, but we didn't run, an, we were supposed to run an extra two so miles. So we didn't run our extra two miles that we, we could not no fathom way. the prospect of continuing once we hit the finish line. So we'll just have to figure out what we do next time because it's going to be a pretty big jump now for our next long training run. We're yeah. going to bump up to 17 miles and still 13 is the most we've ever run. So, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge in two weeks when we get there. Um, but overall, I mean, it was a great race. Uh, it benefits a little local museum, a museum of natural history in Bryan. It was really well run. It was great. The volunteers were yeah. super, um, you know, it was great. It's just... Dang, it was so hot. It was so hot. <laughs> I've never felt like this. You know, on our runs, we have uh, peanut butter honey sandwiches cut up, and we have yeah. uh, energy uh, jelly bellies. Jelly bellies, sport and beans. I, I, after a while, I didn't want any of it because I just I couldn't it keep was, it down. You know? I, I, I had a hard time getting getting the sandwich down one time. And we prepped, we prepped yeah. the way we always I prepped know. prior to the race. Yeah, so, you know, not our best run, but uh, because we did it, uh, it wasn't our worst one. Right. So, I will say this, my hands got so swollen, I couldn't even close my hand. And look, I still can't get my wedding band on. <laughs> my nice, forgiving, stretchy, silicone <laughs> wedding band, I can't put it on. Mine's cutting off my circuit. Yeah, so... But well, we did it. We survived. Yeah. So another. <laughs> we uh, survived. Another week into our uh, full marathon. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, uh, I guess we can wrap this up. Do yeah. we have anything else to say? Yeah. We survived. It was awful. Yeah, just keep, <laughs> keep, your, keep your training going. You know, and let yeah. us know how you're doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer to that full marathon. Yes, we're down to now. double digits. Yeah. It's like 90-something days now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Traffic's getting a little weird, so we're going to sign off. Bye. Always an adventure with you. Always. <laughs>